Ukraine will attack the Russian army with F-16s in a few days. The commander of the Dutch Air Force, General Arnu Stolman, expects F-16 fighters to take to the skies over Ukraine this summer, writes The Guardian. Everything will line up around this summer, he said. The publication recalls that Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands and Norway have pledged to provide Ukraine with about 80 American-made F-16 fighter jets, equipment that Ukrainian forces have been requesting for more than a year. However, the program to get the planes into the air was derailed by delays in delivery and training. According to the general, the process of training pilots and ground staff to fly the aircraft was not easy. It's not just the pilots who need training. The technicians and maintenance people also need extensive instruction. We provide comprehensive support training so they can effectively maintain the aircraft. So everything has to come together, he said. Dutch Defense Minister Kajsa Ollongren also said the first deliveries of aircraft to Ukraine should take place this summer and pushed back against criticism of delays amid reports that Kyiv is disappointed with the pace of pilot training. I completely understand Ukraine's position. They want to do this as quickly as possible. We are implementing the project as quickly as we can. We are really expanding our capabilities. The F-16 is really much more complex than the systems that the Ukrainian Air Force has used so far. It is impossible. It's just a matter of jumping through a few steps. You have to go through every step of the process, but we also want to deliver them as quickly as possible. Fours, a Russian company that produces equipment for oil drilling said that it would pay 15 million rubles or about $170,000 to the first Russian pilot who shoots down an F-16. Russia will also rain supersonic ballistic missiles to destroy the F-16s on Ukrainian soil. Kyiv already plans to station some of them in other Eastern European nations such as Poland. Understandably, they will be hunted down. Lieutenant General Ihor Romanenko, an ex-deputy head of Ukraine's General Staff of Armed Forces, told Al Jazeera, But we will serve them, hide them, equip and use them. The first dozen F-16s are expected to arrive in Ukraine within weeks as their pilots complete their training.